we got some more star system updates pertaining to the road map update and we're just gonna go straight into it it says here this week we introduced the 3.21 column to the roadmap which will house the features and content that we were previously listed for 320.x we made the decision to increment the alpha 3.20x patch non mechler to the alpha 3.21 the primary reason for this increment is to signify Star Citizen's approach to the next major milestone as its online networking technology, which warrants a proper step up. During the 321 patch cycle, we will introduce a new testing channel aimed at graduating new underlying technology. The new channel allows the dev teams to get players on a version of the game that matches the current live release in both content and feature and that introduces a large tech change that must be validated graduated and ultimately mission proven before making their way to the live release in short this is the next step towards server meshing after deploying persistent entity streaming early this year with the replication layer moving off of the game servers this allows the game servers to be an authority over a specific area rather than an entire game universe, which the player experience won't change much at first. And the game server will stick with managing Stanting to start with this major step forward to Alpha 4.0 and beyond. For more information on the replication layer, persistent entity streaming and server meshing, and how this will affect the future of Star Citizen, please check out the panel from the CitizenCon in 2021, CitizenCon 2951, server meshing, and the state of persistence. This is great news. I, I think this is great news. It's exciting to actually see the fact that we're getting closer to a server meshing update in the PU, which ultimately means we're going to get Pyro and other systems as well. Under the release view, it says, with this published, we clarify where each of the feature previously slated for 320X would land in the patch cycle. Below is a full list with a pair of new cards matched as such. Other 320 cards have been marked as committed. Alpha 321, it says the new Crusader platforms, the uh, retrieve consignment, the new mission steal evidence. We know about that. The Crusader A1 spirit, that is exciting. It says, Building and balancing and implementing the Crusader industry like Bomber, the A1 into the game. So now with Star Citizen Alpha 3.21.x, we're going to get the replication layer. It says over the course of the 321 patch cycle, the replication layer will be moved off of the game's servers and set up its own standalone service. In short, this will allow for greater server recovery in the event of a crash. This is also a critical step towards server meshing. Our goal is to release Star Citizen Alpha 3.21 ahead of the launch of the preview channel with the replication layer update. Once the preview channel comes online, it will run in parallel with our live servers. Once the fuel replication layer is reliable, we will migrate it over to the live servers in the 3.21x patch. You can expect to learn more about the new PV channel and its critical role in bringing the new technologies online soon. They also added the vehicle tractor beam. It says implementing a tractor beam attachment to ships, either remote operated or turret like attachment. This allows players to move and tow bigger objects, including other ships. The tumbrel storm has also been added to uh, the 321X as well as the Crusader Spirit and the Argo SRV. You guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, I'll see you on the next video.